in any program, I'm going to tell you, it's, it's, it's pretty awesome, I, I would say. I think right now it's, it's, it's as strong as I think it's ever been. Because now you can have guys to fully come out here and have like full training camps um, for their fights. Brian, Fernando, myself, Stuart, you know, we're great coaches and great uh, bodies for these guys as far as like, you know, we can train with them and teach them a lot of good things. And then we can be that also like that, that sparring partner that they need to for them to get better at their game. So. It's really cool. The MMA program is really strong. It's awesome, man. It's, it's awesome to be a part of it and uh, to be in that room. Brian Rochelle is a cool, cool dude. He's smart, smart dude. He's great to work with. Um, he's got a different funky style. I, I got a different funky style, and like we all we blend in. We blend in well. He's great, great, great guy to have around, and he's awesome. Awesome, awesome coach. It's very unorthodox, you know. It's a guy that does cartwheel kicks, stuff like that, and uh, he's functional about it. Yeah, he's got a cool style. Fernando, man, again, that guy, BJJ Book of Knowledge. Outside of BJJ, he's just an awesome guy to have around. Very, very cool. Feel the warmth uh, in that guy's heart and like the knowledge that the guy brings and wants to. Exp he tries to give you all that knowledge that he knows and express. It. You know, he's so passionate about jujitsu. He's created like this family around us, also around his team. Fernando, Fernando's great, man. I, I love that guy. Merbeck. Uh, when I first met Merbeck, I, I, I saw this really, really talented kid. Wow, I, I think he's the next door St. Pierre. He's amazing. His work ethic is amazing. Everything he does, he does it great. I mean, everything from his wrestling to his, you know, boxing to his, you know, Muay Thai to his, you know, his jiu jitsu defense. I mean, the guy. And not oh, his his athleticism. He's a whole package, man. This guy and, and he, his head, and he's so humble and very giving. Man, like uh, amazing, amazing. Uh, I'm so proud and, and to and happy to be a part of like being one of his coaches, and to get to you know be a part of him rising to the top because he will. Joe Ray, uh, he's he's a vet. He's a professional. He understands the game, and, and he, he's a great knockout artist. But his work ethic, like he works out really hard. Joe is amazing, man. Man, Yusubi, he's like a hitman. He's very serious, very straightforward. And that guy, his work ethic is, is out of here, man. Very talented, very skillful, and man, he's a killer. Felipe, man, same thing. He's, he's like his brother Yusubi. Like, it's like almost like they all try to do each other, you know, in a way, and which is great. But I think they have a, also, when you see them together and you see when you see like you see me talk about his brother, like you can tell his love for his brother is there and like he would do anything for his brother and it's really cool to see that how like that bondage of those two. Both of them beasts. Cody, man, he's our heart, no quit. He's got a lot of heart, you know. Reminds me a bit of myself, you know, in some ways of like you just push through the pain, push through whatever to get to, you know, to see that goal, to succeed. You know, you get this kid from out of nowhere, you know, far from a small town. He came, he came to Tiger Muay Thai for the MMA trials. He went through that whole gruesome three days. He obviously made the team, the Tiger, Tiger Muay Thai team. Basically, a year later after that, he has an opportunity fighting one of the best, you know, one of the guys that's going gonna, gonna to be legendary in the sport of MMA. And I'm so happy for for Cody because we know he sacrificed a lot, put in a lot of time, you know, when he came out here for the tryouts and stuff, and looking forward to seeing big things from him. Zoo, uh, another Chechenian guy that we have. Beast, he's awesome, talented, very young, and a great wrestler. He's just a scrapper. He's a scrapper. If you're gonna fight this guy, you're definitely in for a dog fight. The guy's gonna chew you through till he gets to your bones and just chew that meat right off, man. He's a fighter. Stu Cooper, beast. He's awesome, talented. Man, that's you know this is the thing about Stu Cooper. Um, he's the guy who comes in with the, with the camera. And he's filming, you know. When you always, every time you see a guy with a camera, you never think that's the guy that's going to fucking kick your ass, you know. <laughs> that's just, a, it's just so wrong with him because he's walking around with this camera and the next thing you know, he can put it down and be like, oh, you, yeah, you want to roll? Oh, sure, sure. Like, next thing you know, you're being choked out by an arm triangle by this kid. <laughs> it's awesome. You're sick on the ground, you know, strong. Stuart can go with anyone on the ground. It doesn't matter what, yeah, he can go with all the pros on the ground for sure, especially MMA. Man, anybody's in, in for the world trouble. Like, you know, we, we saw, we've seen it time and time. Tariq, he's a workhorse. He, he trains hard. No quit, you know, no quit in that guy as well. Nonstop, nonstop work ethic. Work, work, work. Training hard, learning the stuff. He's got a lot of heart, you know, strong. 
This kid is talented, he can Ben. Ben Nguyen, he was a kid from South Dakota. This kid is talented, he can he went from being a computer tech kid to living a dream out here, fighting all over in Australia. Yeah, he's like 4-0 now. now. Kai is non-stop, non-stop work ethic. Work, 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 training hard, learning the stuff, learning, you know, learning from Brian, learning from me, learning from Stu, learning from Fernando. Like, he's a great, great, great guy to have around. And he's got a lot of heart, you know. Wow, he's a great knockout artist. He's a very good boxer. From his wrestling to his, you know, boxing to his, you know, Muay Thai to his, you know, his jizz, gaz. Uh, he's one of my one of our scrappers. That guy's all heart, no quit. That guy's gonna come in nonstop. <laughs> He'll go blow for blow with you. Doesn't matter who you are. And good things from this kid. Very young as well. His work ethic is just. Phew. He's a pit bull. He's, he's definitely a tiger's pit bull. JP Kruger, our ginger from South Africa. He's a very nice guy. Very humble as well. Man, he's a beast. You know, he's a great striker. A great grappler. I mean. But he's very respectful. I mean, he's real about. But he's just a really respectful person to to his to his teammates, his partners, everyone, everyone around him. Really cool cat. But you know, deadly in the cage. <laughs> Matt Tapa, man, I think he's a guy that kind of went a lot under the radar. Matt Tapa is a very good boxer, and he's able to use that very well with uh, into MMA. The guy's in the feeder right now, being under the tiger tiger banner. Shannon, he's he's one of our Thai guys that he, he's a, he's a Thai. MMA fighter, very young kid. Uh, there's so many talented guys around him. When you see that, all they're gonna do is just get better and continue to get better. And you see that with Shannon from the first time I've met him, he, and now he's he's evolving. He's uh, he's growing into he's gonna be he's gonna grow into being a good MMA fighter. Peter Davis, uh, man, Peter doesn't have to be doing any fighting in MMA. The guy's a the guy's a model. <laughs> nonstop, nonstop work ethic, work, 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 training hard, learning the stuff. Very talented, very skillful. Wow, he's a very good boxer, great striker, beast, he's awesome, talented, very young, and look, all these guys that I just mentioned, I mean, yeah, man, we're, we're, we're pretty, we're pretty stacked over here, pretty good, I think, uh, you know, it was a lot of work to get all of it together, um, Brian, myself, Fernando, Stu, like, you know, I think we are pretty strong, strong group, um, Pretty strong team, you know, as, as far as coaches and, 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 and training partners for these guys. So, yeah, it's pretty pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome to see that. And this is the thing, you know. You, you I, I try to test all these guys. I dig it because people can be talented. You know, you can have, you can be talented. You can, you can learn quickly a move and whatever. But man, if if you're stuck in a really bad spot and, you know, are you gonna try to get out of there quick? Like, are you gonna try to? Are you gonna give up? That's why when I test these guys, I push, I push their cardio and test their lungs. So, um, so, but once that, so when they're exhausted and tired, then you're testing their soul, testing their, their heart. You know, are these guys gonna give up? Are they, or are they gonna, just keep on trucking, keep on going, keep fighting tooth and nail to get that victory? You know, so and even just not even that, like victory over themselves. You know, to see to see that they could push themselves beyond. And all these guys that we've talked about, you know, are amazing, and they've all they all go that extra mile. They all go extra hard, and that's why they, man, we're having victories left and right, you know, which is awesome. I'm blessed to, you know, an honor to to be their coach and, and to push them, and and they they, they look at me and they like, what's next, coach? All right, I, I got a few more tricks.